Good morning, day 566 in our series 2 to 5. Good session this morning, thankfully. I didn't have any more, look, lines uh, in there that I had to fix. At least I didn't encounter any this morning, which was awesome. Um, basically fixed, I mean, a lot of the, the same stuff. There was nothing, new, excuse me, new or earth shattering um, that I came across this morning. I did a, a little bit of, of sort of chopping up some of the scenes a little bit and not chopping up to sort of edit really. I mean like I wasn't taking anything out but certain parts of uh, certain shots needed to be fixed and when you put these tools on the shots themselves it makes a um, sort of a global change to the uh, or to the audio on there so in order to, to isolate sort of specific parts you've got to sort of chop up the audio so that I can make edits just on sections of it so I had to do that with um, with a couple of, uh, of couple of different in a couple of different areas uh, just different people talking it's like I said the, the sound is just so touchy and temperamental and uh you know just a a turn of the head you know changes it just a um you know a slight change in pitch changes it and sometimes i can't figure out why it changed it's just in one section of the clip uh, it's it's different than another section they may not have turned or moved at all but it's just a little bit, a little bit off. And um, I am getting better with the, the sliders and the equalizers because I'm able to, because I've listened to these things so much, I'm able to sort of tell what frequency, like if there is like a garbling or a high pitched, I'm able to, to go to certain sliders and be able to control those just by, I mean, obviously it goes from, from left to right, it goes from, from like lower frequencies to higher frequencies. So, you, you can sort of gauge it on that, but I'm getting to the point where like individual sliders, I'm like, that sounds like it's probably right here and, um, and able to, to adjust those, which is, it's pretty cool. I mean, you get familiar with just the frequencies that the individual voices and stuff are on and, um, you just get a little bit more efficient in, in, uh, adjusting those instead of always starting with, you know, on one side and adjusting every single one of these sliders. So, you know, I usually start with the, the 10 band one, and then if I need to, if the 10 band one doesn't work, then they have a 31 band one that you can switch to. So sometimes the frequencies that you need are in between, like on the, the 10 band one, say it goes from like, I don't know, like eight to 12 or something like that. You might need to adjust 10, and it's not on that 10 band one, so you have to flip it over to the 31 band one then and adjust in there. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody cares. You know, they all, all anybody cares about is, you know, how does it sound in the end? But uh, it's all these little behind the scenes things that, um, I don't know, I just have a lot, a lot of respect for the guys <laughs> that do this stuff now knowing, number one, recording it is, is a challenge. And number two, when you do record it, if, if there are any imperfections, um, some of them, even though they seem really, really simple, are incredibly challenging to get out and taken care of so anyway that's it for me today still making good progress um you know i won't know exactly when i'm wrapping up but i'm, I'm well over um halfway through on uh, right up right about halfway through on this um this this go around so anyway more tomorrow i will see you then have a good one